Cricket, our national treasure. Or dying irrelevance. Bodyline, tactical genius. Or national disgrace. The hundred. Inspired innovation or misguided mistake. Join the cricket conversation with a subscription to the Cricketer magazine. semi-final time in the Quarantine Cup and a big clash today between Hampshire and Sussex. Hampshire and Mason Crane made their way through to the semi-finals in second place in Group 1, winning four of their five matches, but they'll face a stern test against Tamal Mills and Sussex. Tamal made a rip-roaring start to his season, winning his first three games and all pretty comfortably showing fantastic aptitude with the bat before coming unstuck in his final group game against Roman Walker and Glamorgan. That was a bit of an upset, but Glamorgan have already shown they've got plenty to them. They're in the final. One of these two sides will join them. So let's go over to the action and find out with your commentator, who today is Mark Church. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Emirates Old Trafford for this, the second semi-final of the Quarantine Cup of 2020. And what a bouter it is. Hampshire against Sussex. Two sides there, full of big names. And a place in the final against Glamorgan up for grabs after they beat Gloucestershire in our first semi-final. Conditions today, absolutely perfect for Quarantine Cup cricket. Our two captains will be out there in the middle in a few moments time of course the men behind the controls for Sussex well the captain himself Tamal Mills he's out there at the moment with James Vince and Hampshire behind the controls is Mason Crane but it's Vince and Mills out there in the middle for the toss of the coin the coin goes up the call is tails from Mills and he decides to bowl after Sussex win the toss and decide to have a bowl first shake of hands between the two captains but as I say both sides here full of big big names and what a competition this has been the Quarantine Cup and Emirates Old Trafford there looking gorgeous good crowd in the point away in the distance and it'll be Anirin Donald and James Vince to get us started and it will be the captain Mills with the ball in his hand for Sussex here we go then James Vince starts standing way outside his off stump and drives the kish edge, I think that is, and that flies away down to the third man boundary rope for four. Not exactly where he intended, but James Vince is off the mark with a boundary. Oh, I think I've done him a disservice there. Maybe just open the hands a touch, James Vince, but it's a very nice start from Vince and a nice start for Hampshire. Four without us. Mills once more has got a, a gully in there as this is just tucked around the corner by James Vince with a roll of the wrist. They're 
think about two. Oh, Vince, a little hesitation, but then suddenly speeds up and sprints through for the second. Just for a moment there, I thought there may be a little bit of a mix-up. The crowd are loving this. You can see them there in the background cheering away. A lot of Hampshire fans have made the trip here to Emirates Old Trafford. As Mills left arm over the wicket goes back of the length and oh James Vince behave what a shot that is deep in his crease timing mwah, perfection from James Vince and that absolutely whistled to the boundary rope for four look at that how deep in the crease does James Vince go and that ball just whistles away to the boundary for four and it's a very nice start this for James Vince and Hampshire. 10 without loss after three deliveries. Stuck in by Sussex as Vince here drives straight up towards mid off. No run there. And a dot ball at last for Mills. Gives himself a little clap. There's the man behind the controls. The great thing about Tom Al Mills is he can also do the commentary, which is excellent as Mills is in again. Short delivery and Vince up on his toes, punches out towards extra cover. They'll take the quick single, the dive from an iron Donald but he's safely home and that brings Donald on to strike for the first time and doesn't the Emirates old traffic look an absolute picture so there we are the right-handed Donald averaging 11 as he'd like to improve on that today in a semi-final time Al Mills is in over the wicket to yep. Donald I think that's hit the thigh guard as he looked to drive cry of yes they'll nip through for I think that's a leg by, it is indeed. Signalled by our umpire, who again, like all our umpires in the quarantine cup, looking much like Alfred Hitchcock. But first over done and dusted, Rashid Khan, the magician, with his wrist spin. We'll start our second over, coming in to Donald. And Donald, ooh, what's he tried there? Reverse sweep, I think. Got nothing on it. Ben Brown, very sharp behind the stumps. But Donald there, straight away. Looking for the reverse sweep to Rashid Khan. Ballsy shot from Mason Crane behind the controls there to Rashid Khan. This time, oh, again, reverse sweep it looks like. Hits the pads now. The shout for LBW. What will our umpire say here? Shake of the head. Will they review Sussex? Well, they're having a chat about it. It was a second reverse sweep. No review. No review from Sussex but Nairin Donald trying the reverse sweep twice now this time he's just whipping leg side oh that's a lovely shot super timing from Nairin Donald so much talent this boy and nothing more than a flick of the wrist there from Nairin Donald watch this look at that flick of the wrist beautiful and away for four runs all about timing that from Donald they're a very attractive opening pair these two Vincent Donald is Rashid Khan something to think about and Hampshire move on to 16 without loss as Rashid Khan gives this one a little bit more air oh there's some turn there and reverse sweep attempted again by Nairin Donald he's absolutely obsessed with reverse sweeping here leg buys the signal and that will bring James Vince back on to strike and Vince comes on to strike for the first time here to Rashid Khan, he feels Sussex have to get rid of Vince as quick as possible, Vince. This time goes up and over the top of the covers. Super shot from James Vince. Great placement just to the left of the man at extra cover. And Rashid Khan comes back Whoa, as if the world's against him. What do I have to do, he says. But this is a lovely shot from James Vince again. All about his hands and that just enough on it to get it away and over the fielder at extra cover but always in control there James Vince and he's looking very ominous here for Sussex is James Vince and Time Al Mills behind the controls needs to get rid of James Vince so he's going to come round the wicket Rashid Khan to Vince what does Vince do here oh he looks to cut what's that hit I think little inside edge onto pad thought about the single but Ben Brown was quickly out from behind the stumps and Ben Brown, very sharp there, but it's not a bad over that for Hampshire, a couple of boundaries in it, two gone, and at the moment Hampshire 21 without loss, they'll be pretty pleased with that, they're setting the platform now, one of the best in the business, Chris Jordan into the attack to bowl, this the third over 
of this Hampshire innings. Jordan coming right arm over the wicket to Anaya in Donald. And Donald just tucks this off his hip down towards short fine leg. And they'll take the single, sensibly played by Anaya in Donald. Good running between himself and James Vince. And this is an excellent start from Hampshire. But Chris Jordan, as I say, one of the most experienced bowlers in this form of the game. He'll come in over the wicket to the right-handed Vince. Short ball and Vince, well, hooking. Has he got something on that? It's got through Ben Brown behind the stumps. It was a quick delivery from Chris Jordan. The effort ball from Jordan. And they're still running for some reason. It's already gone across the boundary rope. But they were still running. And that's gone away for four. An extraordinary moment here in the semi-final. I'm not quite sure what's happening. Whoever it is has just run after that. It's behind the rope and they can't seem to find the ball even though it's in front of them. And there is the signal of four. So there must have been a bit of bat on that from James Vince. Yes, bottom edge. And it went through Ben Brown, but an extraordinary moment there as the fielder stood next to the ball and ran round it beyond the boundary rope. But finally the ball comes back and it's a boundary for James Vince. So there we are. That will be on the... Highlights reel at the end of this Quarantine Cup campaign. So the semi-final at the moment going the way of Hampshire. As Jordan over the wicket to Vince. Vince. Oh, he's lofted Jordan high in the air. Oh, this is a ridiculous shot. That's into the point. What a shot that is from James Vince. Goodness gracious me. He has gone straight over long off. And that is a huge, huge strike from James Vince. Goodness me, that wasn't a bad delivery. And look at that Hampshire fan there, absolutely loving it. Up on his feet, but Mason Crane behind the controls. What a push of the button that was. Jordan in, shorter ball, this one's hooked away. This could be six more. Oh, James Vince is enjoying himself. No great surprise there after being driven for six. Mills then goes short of a length and Vince was waiting for him. And hooks it away for six more. Oh, now then. Kamal Mills comes across to have a chat with Chris Jordan. I'm not quite sure what he's going to say to Jordan there. But he's gone full of length six, short of length six. Where does he go now? Jordan in again to Vince. Vince drives, great comeback. Whatever Mills said to Jordan was virtually the right thing to say because it's beaten the outside edge of James Vince's bat. But Vince at the moment is playing quite beautifully in this semi-final. What a player he is. 31 off 11 balls for Vince. Sussex need to get rid of Vince as Jordan is in. And oh, James Vince, a flick of the wrist. Is this six more? This is six more. That has gone miles. And look at the Hampshire fans. Absolutely loving it, the Hampshire fans. And James Vince has not only come to the party, he arrived early to the party, went straight to the front of the queue and is in the VIP section. This is lovely from James Vince. And, well, Hampshire here are going to put a massive total on the board. Danny Briggs with his left arm spin to bowl the fourth over to Anaya in Donald. And Donald looks to drive. Not quite sure what that hit. Oh, was that an outside edge and dropped? It might have been. Laurie Evans thinks it was. Because Laurie Evans ends with his head in his hands. I think that's a chance. I think dropped by Ben Brown behind the stumps. Oh, now Donald. He joins the fun by launching Briggs miles over long off. What a shot that is from Anaya in Donald. And this is turning into a nightmare for Sussex. The eyes of James Vince, they're totally focused. But this is a nightmare at the moment for Sussex. It really is as Briggs is in again to Donald. And Donald this time goes leg side. Now might not have got enough of this. They need a wicket, they get a wicket. The breakthrough. It's not Vince, it's Donald, but boy, oh boy, did Sussex need a wicket. And they've got one dropped in, whipped into the leg side by Donald. And the catch safely taken out at deep backward square. But boy, oh boy, 
was that needed by Sussex. Joffre Archer with the catch and Donald gone for 11. And Sussex have a wicket, but what an opening partnership that was between Vince and Donald and Riley Russo. He will make his way out there into the middle. They cross, so Vince is back on strike on 37. Briggs goes round the wicket. Left arm round now to Vince. Oh, of all the shots for me, that's the best of the lot from James Vince. He's done nothing more than lean on that. And that has absolutely sped to the boundary. The six is spectacular, but that from James Vince is just a thing of beauty. And away for four it goes. And Vince has got us caught purring here in the commentary box. Mason Crane is just, well, lazily now just pressing the buttons. As Briggs is in again to Vince. And Vince goes over the leg side again. Has he got enough on this, James Vince? He has. It's six more for James Vince. Dropped in by Briggs. And Vince here is batting Sussex out of this semi-final. What a shot again from James Vince. And we are being treated here to a masterclass from James Vince. He's on to 47 from 14 balls. Last ball of this, the fourth over. Briggs is in again. And Vince has got over extra cover. Has he brought up his 50 in the grandest manner he has? And James Vince with another six moves to a quite brilliant 50. He's only been out there 15 minutes. He's only faced 15 balls. And James Vince, 53 from 15 deliveries. And the crowd here are being treated to something special from James Vince. Something special from Mason Crane. And Sussex here are going to have to bat out of their skins to win this semi-final. And we still have an over to go and it will be Joffre Archer to bowl the final over of this Hampshire innings. Riley Russo will be on strike for his first delivery of the left-hander as Jordan comes moving in from mid on Archer in over the wicket and Russo looks to work leg side and the ball actually just potters out into the offside and there is no run but oh Joffre Archer what a job he's got on his hands here as he's over the wicket again to Riley Russo oh and Russo's looked to Paul and that hits Russo and drops away again and there's no run as Ben Brown is quickly out so this is good stuff from Joffre Archer a James Vince is stuck at the non-strikers end and b two dot balls and only four of the innings left as Archer's in again yeah. Russo pulls this time he's got a bit more on this and this is going to go for four so Riley Russo finally lays bat on ball and that races away to the fine leg boundary rope for four runs but still James Vince stuck at the non-strikers end 53 not out from 15 deliveries Three balls left of this Hampshire innings. What a total they're going to put on the board. 70 for one with three balls left. And now Joff Roger will come round the wicket to the left-handed Russo. And Russo ooh, plays and misses. Extraordinary shot from Riley Russo. That one just nipped away from him. He's looking to flick it through the leg side. It's a very good over this from Joff Archer. As Archer. Round the wicket he goes once again and Riley Russo drives, this time over extra cover. Oh, what a catch! What a catch that is! Running back at extra cover and it's a dot ball which is as important as anything and well, did they cross? Because if they didn't, James Vince could go through the whole of the final over without facing a ball and that's criminal but what a catch that was! And Riley Russo goes Van Ziel with a, a brilliant catch. Riley Russo goes for four. Did they cross while the ball was in the air? Does Vince get on to strike? Will I lose my voice? So many questions to be answered. And it's the man behind the controls. He's sent himself out there for the last ball. Good on you, Mason Crane. But James Vince will be on strike. So Vince... We'll get the final ball of the innings from Joffre Archer. 
Archer's in, it's short, it's pulled by Vince. And is he caught? He is at deep backwards square. What an over from Joffre Archer. What an innings though from James Vince. Vince goes for 53. And I make that two wickets and just four runs off that Joffre Archer final over. And has that kept Sussex in this game? But what an innings that was. Danny Briggs with the catch. Vince gone. For 53 magnificent innings, but what a brilliant final over that was from Joffre Archer. And Sussex are going to have to bat extremely well to win this because they need 71 to win. 70 for three, that final total for Hampshire, but it could have been a lot worse. And I think Mason Crane will say to himself, should I have got James Vince on to strike for that final over? Because he only faced one ball of that final over, James Vince. But what an innings from Vince. So it's 71 to win for Sussex. 71 for a place in the final against Glamorgan. Kyle Abbott will get us started. Phil Salt. The man on strike for Sussex. Oh, and Abbott's right up there with the Yorker straight away. And Salt drives over the top of that. That's a terrific start from Kyle Abbott. He's pleased with himself. Gives himself a little clap. They need to get off to a flyer here, Sussex. They've got the, the talent up top to do that. Abbott over the wicket. He comes again. That's wide outside the off stump. Swinging away. Will that be signal wide? Just waiting for our umpire. Nope, that's okay. That's okay. So this is a, a good, good start from Kyle Abbott. Don't forget, James Vince, six off the first two balls of the Hampshire innings. Two dots for Sussex. Kyle Abbott over the wicket again to Salt. Salt drives again. That's swinging away. And, well, the stump's knocked down by Lewis McManus just to keep Phil Salt honest. But this is just the start that Hampshire would have been looking for. You can feel the pressure all built, already building on the Sussex batsman. Abbott once more. Got a lay bat on ball for Salt. Short one from Abbott. That was quick. Salt played the pull shot as the ball hit the gloves of McManus. She won for the over. But this is very good stuff from Kyle Abbott. Hasn't laid bat on ball yet for Salt. When he does, it could go miles. Abbott's in again. Salt drives. Goes past his outside edge, does he? Shout for court behind. Given. Salt's gone. Caught behind. And Kyle Abbott, whose hair seems to have got lighter in just those five deliveries. Now, are they going to review this? Salt and right. No, they're not. Oh, it's LBW. My apologies. I thought it was caught behind, but it's been given as LBW. But whatever it is, what a start this has been from Kyle Abbott. And Ravi Bapara makes his way out there. But Phil Salt didn't lay bat on ball. Five balls gone, not a run for Sussex. And Phil Salt back in the hatch. Bapara's first delivery. Oh, Ravi, 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 Ravi. Oh, behave. Ravi Bapara, first ball driven over the covers for six. And it's what Sussex need. But it's beautifully done by Ravi Bapara. But what a great first innings that was from Kyle Abbott. Spin to get us started from t'other end. And it will be Nathan Lyon with his offies coming into Luke Wright. Six for one. Oh, Wright drives. That's got through everything, including McManus. The chase is on. They'll get back for two. We'll wait for the signal from our umpire. And was that buys or was there bat on that from Luke Wright? Nathan Lyons got the, the war paint on due to the virtual sun. Bit of bat on that from Luke Wright, so he's off the mark with a couple. 71 the target, of course. 63 more needed by Sussex. Round the wicket goes Lyon and Luke Wright flick of the wrists. Oh, one bounce out to Kyle Abbott at deep mid wicket. Thought he picked the man out there for a second. As the throw comes in from Abbott. And Luke Wright takes the single. And that will bring Ravi Bapara on to strike who 
well, caressed his first ball from Abbott over the covers for six. Lyon will continue round the wicket here to Papara. It's short, Papara drives, goes past his outside edge. I'm not sure that's the length to be driving to. Nicely taken by McManus behind the stumps. Another dot ball, and every dot ball that pressure builds on Sussex. Lyon round the wicket, he comes once again. Oh, and this is lofted straight down the ground. High in the air from Bapara for six. Oh, Ravi Bapara again knows exactly what he's up to. And as straight as a die, Ravi Bapara down the ground for six. He is one of the most beautiful batsmen to watch. Ravi Bapara, so a couple of sixes already from Bapara. It's what Sussex need. As round the wicket again goes Lyon to Bapara. Short this time, Bapara looks to pull, and that's a brilliant take from McManus behind the stumps. And that's just drifted past his outside edge. And Bapara scuffs up the crease, just checks his guard. 15 for one. 56 more needed. Round the wicket goes Lyon again. Bapara, oh, he's got again. This is huge from Bapara. Over long on for six. Oh, Ravi Bapara. Three sixes already from Bapara. That's the best of the three for me. Over long on. And there are the two team coaches behind the pavilion. And, well, you can't start them yet. But if Bapara continues like this, you might have to. Start of the third, it's Mason Crane. Into Luke Wright, he's gone past his outside edge. So the man behind the controls for Hampshire is into the attack. And his first ball is a dot to Luke Wright. Wright jumps outside the leg stump, then drives. Doesn't really time this, they're taking the single. Gets Bapara on to strike. So, Bapara on to strike here to Mason Crane. Mason Crane's had a cracking day behind the controls with the bat. He's not having a bad day so far behind the controls with the ball. And here he comes again, Mason yep. Crane. Gives this air and Ravi Papara with the reverse sweep. Not quite sure what he's got on that, but they get a single. And McManus does the retrieval work. And look at that from Mason Crane. Buys the signal there from our umpire, so no bat on it. Mason Crane sprinting up to get behind the stumps. Leading by example there, Mason Crane. Now this is interesting, Luke Wright again sets up about a foot outside his leg stump, then jumps outside his off stump and then tucks the ball into the leg side. Not put off by that, Mason Crane just followed him. Oh, they're coming back for two! Suicidal run! Suicidal run from Luke Wright! Gotta be out! Not even in the picture, Luke Wright! He turned and went as the ball was released from mid-wicket. And he was not even in the picture. And Luke Wright is run out. That's a massive blow for Sussex. Here you go. See it again. Not in the picture. There he is. Not even in the picture. I'll say it again, Luke Wright. It's not in the picture. Oh, we're going to see it again. Not even in the picture. Let's see it again. Not even in the picture. And Luke Wright run out for five. So Wright never really got going there. Five off five balls. And Sussex, oh, they need something very special, you feel, from Bapara, who started nicely, but that pressure continues to build, and that 70 looks a long way off at the moment. Ben Brown is out there, 24 for two. First ball for Brown, turns it leg side, nicely timed by Ben Brown. Down towards long on, just the single. Oh, they're coming back again, are they? Oh, no, they thought about it. They've already had the run out of Luke Wright. They don't need another one. Sussex, that would be criminal. They definitely thought about coming back for two, but never two there. Last ball of this, the third. Bapara on 18. Mason Crane's into him, and Bapara drives nicely away through the covers. Is this running away for four? It is. And you feel everything for Sussex is resting on the, the mighty shoulders of Ravi Bapara. Three gone. Now, Ben Brown's job as much as anything is to try and get the power on strike. It's going to be Liam Dawson, 42 from two overs. Not impossible. 
Dawson left arm round the wicket to Ben Brown and Brown slots him straight down the ground for six. What a shot from Ben Brown. Well, that's the other thing he can do. Forget Papara. Ben Brown will just hit sixes. Gorgeous shot. Liam Dawson giving that one air. I think he's almost picked it up on the, the full toss. The low full toss and slotted down the ground. And Mills behind the control will have enjoyed that. I think that's hit the roof of the pavilion. And away for six. Dawson in. will just drop his length there surely. And Ben Brown jumps outside his off stump and then slots it into the leg side. Just the single. So that will get Bapara back onto strike in this semi-final. Just a reminder, the winner to play Glamorgan in the final. And at the moment it's looking like Hampshire. Unless Bapara can pull off something very special. Bapara doesn't really time this one. Looking to pull it into the leg side. It's Donald out there doing the fielding. So we need to find boundaries here, Sussex you feel. Just a single there for Bapara. Ben Brown comes back onto strike. Dawson's in again. Tosses it up. Ben Brown smashes him. Over extra cover for six. It's brave from Liam Dawson to toss it up. And it's a super shot flat from Ben Brown. All the way over extra cover for six. Terrific stuff from Ben Brown. Look at James Vince there. Not happy. James Vince. And away for six. So they're giving themselves a chance here. Sussex. Dawson in again to Brown. Drops his length and Brown goes again. Over the leg side for six more. What's happening here? Ben Brown is keeping Sussex in this semi-final. He's giving them something to go after in the last over. And that again is a great shot from Ben Brown. What a semi-final this is. The crowd are loving this. They're getting value for money today, I tell you. Liam Dawson. Oh, he's going to come left arm over now. Here he comes. Into Brown and Brown goes again. Six more. Is Ben Brown winning this semi-final for Sussex? He has hit another one. It's a huge over for Sussex. And it means they give themselves a hope in the final over. What an innings this is from Ben Brown. And you can see the look of shock there on the faces of the Hampshire faithful and it'll be Fidel Edwards to bowl our final over 16 needed the other key thing here is Papara's on strike 16 off the last then Fidel Edwards is in with that whippy slingy action that must be wide isn't it oh now we're going upstairs McManus took the ball flicked it back oh Bradley Papara's back foot is absolutely locked in the crease so I'm not quite sure why we've gone upstairs, but we have. The other thing there was, that looked very, very wide to me. Here we go. This will be not out, but it will be a dot ball, I think. So that'll mean 16 or 5. But I'm sure that Rabbi Babar is thinking to himself, how has that not been signalled wide by our umpire? But um, we're seeing it again, just in case, but he's definitely not out. So there we go. Dot ball first up. Great start from Fidel Edwards. 16 needed off five for Sussex. Boundary here. Need a boundary here, Sussex. Fidel Edwards is in to Babara. Oh, great delivery. Little toe end of the bat. And they're through for the single. There's a cry from somewhere. Oh, we've got overthrows. Drama, tension, pressure. That's what that is. Tension and pressure. And they'll get two. There's a shake of the head from the umpire for the appeal. A little late. They're going to go upstairs, are they? Oh, I'm not sure I could take much more of this. No, they're not. But they did get two. It's 14 off four. Papara is still on strike. This is a classic semi. 14 off four. Fidel Edwards is in to Papara. Great bowling from Fidel Edwards. Great bowling from Mason Crane. LBW, the Yorker from Fidel Edwards. And when it was needed... He's come up with the perfect delivery 
They may as well review this, but I think it's out. No, they're not going to. That could be the game. That could be the semi-final. And fair play to Mason Crane. He's kept his call behind the controls and pulled out a Yorker at the perfect moment. Papara's wonderful innings comes to an end. And Van Ziel is out there. 14 off three. What an over this is from Fidel Edwards. Van Ziel's first ball. He's driving. I'm not sure he's got anything on that. They'll take a bye through to the keeper. But again, what they all oh, wides the signal. Wides the signal. So that's 12 from three now. So wide the signal and they scramble the single to get Brown, Ben Brown on to strike. So still doable for Sussex. Three fours, two sixes. Three sixes wins the game. In fact, two fours and a six wins the game if my maths is correct. Anyway, over the wicket comes Fidel Edwards to Ben Brown. Dot ball. Great bowling again from Mason Crane. So now they need two sixes, Sussex. They need two sixes here, Sussex. This is a brilliant over from Fidel Edwards. As he's in again to Ben Brown, another dot delivery as Brown looks to hook. Oh, throw to the bowler's end. Was Van Ziel out backing up? Let's have a look. No, I think he's home, safe and sound. But that means it will be Hampshire into the final. And Fidel Edwards has bowled a quite brilliant penultimate over here. It all looked like it could be Sussex with the fireworks of Ben Brown. But Mason Crane has kept his call cool behind the controls. And it's 12 needed off one ball. And even my math tells me that's not possible. Unless there's a no ball. But I don't think that will happen. Fidel Edwards is in. A sweep here from Ben Brown. The shout for LBW. It's really academic all this. They'll scramble too. There was a shout for LBW. There's a shake of the head from our umpire. But it'll be Hampshire that will go into the final of the Quarantine Cup. And congratulations to them. That innings from James Vince was outstanding. The innings of Ravi Bapara right up there. And then Ben Brown almost, almost getting Sussex over the line. But Fidel Edwards with a brilliant final over. And it means that Hampshire win this by nine runs. And it's Hampshire into the final to play Glamorgan. So, Mason, you're into the final of the Quarantine Cup. Um, it looked like at one stage it was going to be quite a comfortable victory over Tamal and Sussex, but he, he came back strongly there. A match full of runs. What did you make of it at the end? Well, it was quite nerve-wracking towards the end because, you know, like you said, at one stage I thought I had you know, loads of runs. I thought it wouldn't um, wouldn't matter and uh, he'd have to try and score at a rate that he's going to, he's going to lose wickets as well. And, um, yeah, it got quite close towards the end, but I'm happy to be over the line. And into the final, exciting, a chance for Hampshire to win some silverware. Yeah, well, that's it. You know, I said when I started playing this uh, competition, I wouldn't play the final, I wanted to win it. So, um, yeah, one step closer. You know, one more game, it's, um, it's exciting to see how it goes. You've got Roman Walker and Glamorgan in the final. Roman's sort of springing a surprise, I guess, in, in coming through against Gloucestershire in the, in the semi. Um, what do you make of, of him? Have you been able to watch any of what he's been doing? I saw the, I've got a glimpse of the end of his uh, semi-final and um, yeah, it looks like he's got a, he's got a bit of a method, so um, you have to come up with a plan. It looks like he tries to swing the ball a lot, so um, yeah, you have to come up, uh, try and come up with a plan to get um, some runs against him. Okay, well, best of luck for that final. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.
cricket our national treasure? Or dying irrelevance? Bodyline? Tactical genius? Or national disgrace? The hundred? Inspired innovation? Or misguided mistake? Join the cricket conversation with a subscription to the Cricketer magazine.